it to you. We've got Mike. Um, start up front here on the left with Larry Lage. Coach, can you talk about the performance of your offensive line, both in the running game and the passing game? Yes, um, I thought they played really good. Um, tip of the cap, anytime the running game goes over 300 yards. Um, pass protection was was really good. Uh, thought they were sound, really making the right calls, getting on the right people, and uh, yeah, that was a, a phase that was good, really good today. Even on the, you know, some of the longer drop back throws, it was a good clean pocket there. From start to finish. On the right hand side there, Chris. Coach, how much did Ben Mason have to do with that? And was there a concentrated effort to get him on the field a little bit more in this game? Um, well, always, um, you know, Ben worked in there good. Um, Again, I mean, yeah, anytime you rush for over 300 yards, your fullbacks got to get, get a good amount of credit as well. And uh, Karan was running really well, uh, put up a lot of yards in the first half. And Chris Evans, you know, I, that, his touchdown run, I thought it was a heck of a play. Safety dove, dove in there uh, low, and he uh, reacted well and stepped out of it and, and um, took it the, the distance. There, Adam. Jim, uh, Noah Furbush no, hey, uh, all over the field today. Can you just talk about his performance? It looked like you guys were you know, disguising him, decoying, and then when he dropped us back in the coverage for that interception. What did Noah bring to the defense today, and what did you see out of him? Well, making the big play um, on the interception, uh, he, was, he was really sound on the edge. I mean, uh, played the run game really well. He uh, you know, Santa, they had a big tight end, big fullbacks. They, uh, but he was able to condense the edge. I thought he he, he played a really good game. Cleek Hudson played extremely well. Um, corners played really well. David and and um, um, Brandon and Lavert. Uh, also, uh, Devin Bush. I mean, he was he was flying around again. I mean, his speed was was evident all game long. Rashawn. He put in a full day's work, and um, we had a lot of success stopping the run. Good concerted effort there. Over here on the left, Lojo. Jim, way over on the left. <clears throat> Did you feel like you were able to add more layers and elements to the offense today, and Shea looked more and more comfortable? Did you feel that way right from the start? Yeah, I thought we played well start to finish uh, in the ball game. I thought Shea played really well again. I mean, he made some, some big time plays. Um, a couple of throws he made out of the pocket or, um, you know, on the, on the dead run, getting out of trouble. Uh, or, or those, those are big time plays. And, uh, but he was accurate, really accurate again. Uh, playing, playing, playing cool and um, making the tight window throws uh, you know, second week in a row. So, Thought he was, uh, yeah, more more in control, more in charge, yeah. and uh, gonna look to expand that next week. You know, take another step next week. But he's a, he's ascending, uh, playing really well. All the way in the back, Justin. Coach, how you? Uh, is it nice to see that the guys came to work? The, the two players talked about how they came into work this week, focused and ready to, to change things around for last week. Did you notice a big? Mindset uh, from the guys coming in this week to put in the work necessary to have a dominating effort like you did today. No question about it. The the week of practice was really good. Um, yeah, there was a feeling everybody wanted to to uh, get rid of and and took nothing for granted. Worked really hard all week, and you know, that's that's where we want to what we want to be as a football team. You know, one week at a time. Put in the work and uh, play start to finish. Another thing, I think our team started faster too in this in this ball game and and uh, really played good. Really played with their their wits about them. And special teams was you know, another great contrib contribution from the special teams. Block punt. Um, Will Hart thought he did a really good job punting the football. Jake Moody. Uh, there was a pretty stiff wind down there, and even when we were kicking into the wind in that first quarter. He was putting those balls into the end zone for touchbacks, into a stiff win. So 
excited about our freshman uh, kicker. Um, so sound all the way on the on the on the teams. Kickoff coverage was uh, was really good. The one that uh, that we covered gave us great field position. Uh, fourth down stops out of our defense. I mean, we we had a lot of things going our way today. In the front left here, John. Coach, your thoughts on uh, Dylan McCaffrey's play in the second week and the ability to get younger guys like uh, Aiden Hutchinson out on the field? <clears throat> um, yeah, tremendous on both things. Uh, about Dylan, uh, I mean, he's got a real, he got a real coolness about him when he's out there playing. Um, see it on the hockey sideline when I'm calling the plays, and, um, and then watching him execute, it's good. Um, nice to see, nice to see a lot of a lot of firsts. You know, Dylan's first touchdown pass, uh, Donovan's first touchdown reception, <coughs> Nico's first touchdown reception. And, and that was, I mean, that was actually surprising. You know, that you realize how young. Donovan Peoples Jones is, and uh, and Nico um, uh, McCurry getting a getting a touchdown reception was was really good as well. Uh, so yeah, to see all those guys play, one four I thought Mike one four played played really good when he was in there as well. And uh, Brad Hawkins got some more good reps and played well. Uh, good to see our young offensive linemen get snaps that they did. So uh, yeah, to answer your question, really. Good for both things, you know, to get the get a lot of guys out there playing. I think seventy four players played in the game. Um, and did didn't did things too, you know, while they were out there. Not just not just got in the game, but uh, acquitted themselves well. So a lot to build on there. On your right, Coach Chris. Our coach a little thinner on the interior defensive line. Do you have updates on Lawrence and Aubrey by any chance? <coughs> um, yeah, they're uh, they're both out working through something this week and um, We'll see when they'll be back, but uh, we should get them back Before sooner left. rather than later. Here on the left, Casey. Coach, just talking about Jake Louie's performance today, uh, kicking wise. Yeah, just did. I, I was really impressed. <laughs> it's yeah. great to see the, you know, the local, the local, uh, yeah. local guy. Yeah, the local Northville guy do good. It was. Uh, I like Jake a lot. He's a he's another cool customer. Um, there was a stiff wind down there. Yeah. And him, he was kicking into it the first quarter. I think he had three kickoffs, and um, they returned to one, and we, we covered it really well to about the 12, I think, and then uh, and then, then kicking touchbacks into into a strong win. So he's got a strong leg, yeah. and uh, I'm excited to see him go out there and do well again for a second week in a row. Yeah. Over on your far right, Coach Nick. You mentioned earlier with uh, Sona Tech, we know Shea put the ball to one to Oliver on the sideline and, and the one to Donovan in the back of the end zone. Yeah. Those are windows. I mean, is that the stuff you saw in camp and that stuff that just kind of you can't teach him how to do? That's just been making a play. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's uh, really having a, you know, the feel, the depth perception, the, uh, you know, the ability to you know, throw different types of passes. I mean, throw, you know, that was a dead sprint on the, on the run to, to Oliver, and a really nice catch by Oliver Martin. It's, uh, he, he, he stayed with the route the entire way and came back and did a great job on the sideline. Um, <coughs> drilled it in there on the dead run that, to his left. Uh, you know, that's check, check, check. That's uh, plus, plus, plus. The, um, and the throw to Donovan was, was really good. That wasn't his first read, and, uh, and that, was a, that was a long throw. You know, from one sideline all the way to the back end zone, back corner of the end zone, and, and that one had to required some some touch on it, and but it had to get up and down quick before uh, Donovan got out of bounds. Uh, so not that's pretty high level stuff. So. Over here on the left, Mitch. Tim, uh, when Shea was in here, he was talking about running out through the tunnel for the first time as a Michigan player. It's rare a guy who's as old as him is doing it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Did you have any discussions with him prior to that about what that moment was going to be or how that was going to be at least dream of that for the moment he had? Yes. Um, I've had several discussions with him about uh, running out of the tunnel. And you know, from our very first conversation, um, and then over the last months, and he, he keeps bringing that up. First time he got in the stadium for the practice, we had in there, uh, he looked up and pointed out where he saw his his first game, and and um, and I was running behind him coming out of the tunnel. I wanted to 
just kind of wanted to see what he was going to do. And uh, when he touched the banner, and he, he looked like he kind of went up and did a little kind of the reverse, reverse dunk. He had a little sugar on the flakes <laughs> going up and touching the banner. Uh, but that was that was neat. I wanted to see that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's it's awesome when it means something to somebody. Jim, how do you feel like the offensive line there this week compared to compared to last week? Who the offensive line? Um, yeah, I thought they, I thought they played, I thought they played good last week. Um, I thought it was an improvement, and uh, I think they, they took another step uh, this week as well. Uh, just you know, calls, getting on the right guys, you know, not turning anybody loose in protection, um, giving the quarterback a chance to to uh, step up in the pocket and you know, feel some space around him where everything isn't just just collapsing. Uh, blocked really well in the run game. Hat on a hat. Uh, you know, just good, sound, fundamental football. Uh, it's impressed. And good to see a lot of, a lot of guys get in the game. Got time for about two more right behind. Coach, uh, over here on your left. Kind of a kind of a similar question. Um, I guess, what do you attribute the improvement in the run game this week to? Uh, the guys, you know, the players, uh, offensively, uh, you know, just just doing their doing their skill, doing the, doing what they're <coughs> being confident in what they're doing and and, uh, and executing it. Good week of practice. Uh, that was it was. Uh, I had about 90 degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday, and, and uh, nobody was nobody was flinching or, or asking to come out. And, um, it was good. It was good. It was just uh, not taking anything for granted and wanting to improve, and, and then uh, going out there and playing, starting fast, playing playing from start to finish. Thought we really did that today, on all in all phases, uh, and and that's why I think the offensive line. Uh, you know, also made a made a jump, but you know, I think they're uh, I think they have the ability to get better and better. I think we do, um, you know, it, as a football team as well. In the middle, Adam. Jim, in, in terms of Shea's ability to improvise and read the field, it looks like he did that pretty well today. What what did you see out of him in terms of just the way that he was able to to use the field? I think he hit five different receivers in the first quarter for his first five passes yeah. all to different guys. What did you see out of him? Well, you bring up a really good point. I think he's got he's got really good vision of the field. I mean, that's something I'm always I'm asking him all the time. You know, just how you seeing things, what are you seeing? Uh, and it was it was really good. The uh, the throw to Donovan probably stands out in my mind as um, as the one that really puts an exclamation point on it because um, it was it was a. It looked like a zero blitz at the you know, all-out blitz man coverage, you know, free safety. Um, to start the play, we thought we had the really the right play called, and we're bringing Nico in from the from the outside receiver position from the boundary, and uh, you know, thought that was going to be where the ball would go. And as the play developed, I saw a linebacker you know, drop off into that space, and you know for him to calculate that and and then uh, you know change the channel. You know, which you know, if I was playing quarterback, that's where I would have been going with the ball, reading the initial coverage. But you know, to change the channel and then go to the corner and throw it to uh, you know Donovan, make that split second decision, and then make that accurate of a throw. I mean, you're really seeing things well. All right, last question here, Larry. Um, what did it mean to you and the team? Do you think to have Brenda Tracy back as an honorary captain? Oh, it meant, meant so much. Um, we, we all learned so much from uh, Brenda. I did personally. I know all of our guys did. Uh, you know, she's amazing. Her, her story is amazing. Her work is amazing. You know, what she's accomplishing is amazing. And um, you know, the, the, the guys uh, you know, really um, appreciate her. And uh, just the level of adversity, but how she's, you know, what she's done with her life, you know, and now how, how much she's impacting Anybody that'll listen, you know. So uh, that was uh, it was a huge thrill to have her. Uh, honored to have her on our sideline. All right, thanks, Coach. We'll bring in the players.